Also to assess their Patricia Reyes is a market researcher. She is coming to the end of her presentation to Quartz Power Group about her research into their customers. So those are the key results of the survey. I hope you will be able to use them effectively. Well, I've come to the end of my presentation. My aim was to give you a good overview of the background, the approach, and the results of the survey. We have seen how far-reaching the research is in terms of numbers. Our large sample size has given us very accurate and specific data. We have also looked at the more general and global feedback that the respondents gave, which show that there may be some important ramifications for your company. As I said before, you can study this in further detail in your handouts, and I'd be happy for you to email me any further questions. So thank you very much for listening, and if you'd like to ask me any questions now, then I'd be happy to try and answer them. I have a question. As customer service manager, these results are particularly relevant to the people I'm in charge of. So I'd like to ask, earlier you showed us some of the customer feedback about their experience of dealing with our call centre. All the feedback seemed universally negative. So am I right in thinking that none of the feedback was positive? If that's the case, I find it somewhat difficult to believe, as there were positive scores from some participants, but no positive comments. Can I check if I've understood you properly? You mean why I didn't put any positive comments on the customer feedback on the site? Yes, surely there were some positive comments. Of course. It's a good question. I can understand how this is a concern for you. Let me explain. As I said before, I was only presenting the main findings. The full details are in your report. With regard to the feedback on the call center, however, I'm afraid the responses were either negative or quite neutral. But you didn't report any of the neutral comments. You're quite right. I didn't report any of the neutral comments. But my aim was to give you an overview of the findings, not to go into every single detail. But my comments are representative of the majority, though I accept, don't tell the whole story. Does that make sense? I guess so. Thanks. Well, perhaps I can say here that my brief to Patricia was to give us a summary, not the full report. So perhaps I can take some responsibility for the way the findings were presented. Now, I'd also like to ask a question, uh, and that is, having carried out the survey, do you think there are any questions that we should have included as part of the survey but didn't? Or perhaps you'd recommend a follow-up survey? Let me deal with your question first about another survey. I think we would always recommend another survey, but only after you've implemented action based on the results of the first survey. That way you can monitor whether the changes were effective. But we're probably talking about after about 18 months to two years. Now as for your question about whether we should have asked another question, I'd say no. I think the findings here are fairly conclusive. Anyway, there is the danger of generating too much data with this type of research. I see. Anyone else? Well, in that case, thank you very much for listening. If you had any further questions, feel free to contact me anytime. My contact details are on the first page of your report.